Hi there, I am here with Sarah Burnell and Frank Kennedy of Grinnell College and a little bit of a re or history repeating today. Both runners won Midwest Conference cross country titles after both won last year as well. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's start with Sarah since the women's race was first. Um, you defended your title. You had an interesting race. There were a lot of runners kind of going back and forth. Lead us through the entire race and how it went as far as who you were battling and all of that. Well, we started off fast and there was a group of about four or five of us that were running similar times. Um, the Cornell runner was their number one is the one who was the closest time, or I was closest to her time. She was ranked first. Um, so we all started off together and kind of were switching places. And then about halfway through the race, we just like a few of us kind of pulled ahead and there was about four of us just kind of switching spots and going around. And just like the last mile or so, the Cornell top runner and I just like ran away with it and it came down to about the last 200 meters and a little bit of a fast kick sort of tied in number one for me. Oh, that was exciting. Now, yeah. Frank, uh, you kind of had, uh, a, you had, did have a great performance, but you took off and you were second for a little while. The Lawrence runner, I believe, took off pretty hard. Next time I saw you, you were comfortably ahead of everybody. So bring me through your race and talk about uh, how things unfolded. So this course is really, really like known for having a very fast first mile and that that's deceptively hard because then it gets, it gets a lot worse. I mean, from the first to the second mile. So this guy's ahead of me and I just, I saw it as a way to block the win. And my first mile, I think it was about 449. I mean, that's quick, but it's, it's a net downhill. So it's gonna be fast. After that, I knew he was coming back to me. I thought I could get him on the big hill right after the first mile. That's what I did and I just kept pushing. I, I wasn't about to get content there because I don't know who's behind me and I'm not going to look back. And you, like I said, you just you just took off from there. Now, uh, you mentioned something that I was wanted to ask both of you about. The wind was difficult today. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, quite sw it's swirling, as you can probably see during this interview. It's still swirling. Um, Another interesting thing is both teams won the team title, which was great to see. So it was a, a complete Grinnell sweep. Talk a little bit, Sarah, about the women's race. You beat Cornell College by one point. I think it was yeah. well after the race before anybody had an idea. Uh, talk about the, the joy of winning a team title and, and what your thoughts were in, up until the point they announced the winners. Yeah, um, last year we'd really hoped to win conference and it didn't happen. So that just gave us a little bit of extra motivation this year, in day one, the whole team sat down and said, like, we are we want to win conference. That's what we want to do and focus on this year. And so just from there on, that's what we worked towards. That's what we talked about. That's what we, you know, I don't know. We just got so into it. And then at the end of the race, watching the lineup, like, no one could tell. Like, we had no idea what was, like, who would come in first or second. And Lawrence was pretty close too so we are like we don't even know who came in third um, and then watching the individuals line up for the top 20 a bunch of us definitely thought that Cornell had had like had beaten us and we were starting to get like a little sad but then when they announced who came in second place like our whole team just erupted with happiness like that is what we've been working for since day one to come like May 21st when track ended like that was what was on everyone's mind so it was so nice to see all that hard work really pay off and <laughs> us make it at least by a hair. <laughs> and again, Frank, uh, the men won yet another Midwest Conference title. It's become quite a regular thing here. Talk about that as, as far as uh, the team's thoughts this season and coming into this race. It's been a focus. It's been a big focus for us, just like the women's team. And we had a lot of guys step up today. It really hasn't been an easy process here. This year we've had a lot of people work hard. We've had a few injuries. But overall, I'm happy with how things are coming on on all levels. That's from top to bottom, and people wanted this. Another interesting thing, uh, adding to the Grinnell sweep, both coaches were coaches of the year. I know. Sarah, talk about uh, Coach Evelyn Freeman and Will Freeman winning those awards. It's it's awesome. We had a complete sweep this year. Like every award you could get, we got it. And it's <laughs> it feels great because Will and Ev, like they are amazing coaches. They've been doing this for a long time, and. Uh, it's just it was incredible having all the alums back and having this big reunion. We had this huge support system. Everyone was here and just to have 
everyone win everything was just like oh god it felt so fitting and just perfect how about you frank with the coaches being uh, named coach of the year coaches of the year to me what's most fitting is that it's, the big deal here is that it's, it's their last time that they'll be coaching that they would they'll host this meet and so it, it really is fitting for that I can't really add much to what Sarah says because, I mean, they're both great. They both put their heart and soul into this team. I mean, they've been there for me since day one, and, and this has not been easy for me. I mean, I've had my, my uh, today's a great day, but I've had some rough days too, and Will's been there, and Ev's been there too. And I can't thank them enough for that. And I'm just, I'm happy for them because they deserve this. Uh, you'd made mention of the uh, the alums that are back this weekend. Of course, we had that really nice dinner last night. You probably got to meet a lot of them. Is there a sense of, uh, all, I know you, you want to perform well, but is there maybe even a little bit heightened sense of saying, whoa, I better go out there and really perform because we have these people who have been successful in the past back. Do you think that, that was a little bit of inspiration for the teams, a, a little bit of added inspiration, I should say? Yeah, I think so. It just, you, like, it, well, it's just like every, all the energy in the air just makes you, it made me really happy and excited. And I, a lot of these people I ran with and you just, you want to show them like how much work you've been doing since they've seen you last and especially the older alums like you just they're so proud of this like team and this entire culture of cross Grinnell cross country and you just you want to like support it and be a big part of it just even more seeing them here so yeah adds adds a little bit of extra energy how about for you frank Honestly, it, it, I felt like it added a lot of pressure, but I, I will say it added excitement. I mean, there was, for me individually, there was a lot of pressure having won it last year, having it at home, and having all these alums back. And the one thing I will say that I, I noticed last night at the dinner, even though I was very, very nervous, and Sarah can attest to that, <laughs> is that it, a lot of these people that, that were here didn't, didn't have the streak that we have. And so they were proud, and they expressed that. And it was cool to come out here and do it for them. And Sarah's right in that a lot of the alums that are back are from 2010, 2011, 2012. And it's kind of cool to show them how you've done. That you've, that, you know, in my case and in Sarah's case, we've made the progress. And, and I think uh, to finish things off here, I, I think the great thing as well, which is obviously why the alums are back, is to do this on our home course. Yes. You know, the, the last time running out here at Oakland Acres, does that have a special uh, meaning for either of you? Yeah, I mean, this is our home. This is like, this is what we get most excited for like all season long and I don't know, yeah, it just, it felt good to be here and to win. It just, it felt right. It felt like what it was supposed to happen. <laughs> How about you, Frank? Yeah, same thing. I mean, a lot of these races, the Duke is the one that we've had this very consistent. I mean, my schedule has changed. We, we run different races from year to year sometimes. But this is the one thing that's very consistent in how I've done it. I can remember every Les Duke Invitational. And it's cool to have one more of those, even if it's conference, so it's not the same thing, it's the same course. Yep. And in very much the same atmosphere. All right. Well, again, uh, Sarah Burnell and Frank Kennedy repeat Midwest Conference Cross Country Champions. Congratulations very much and good luck uh, regionals and nationals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>